Now, those votes in Leon County bringing change to the Tallahassee City Commission District 1 seat with newcomer Jack Porter unseating Elaine Bryant. This was certainly a race to watch. ABC 27's Jada Williams has more from City Hall on how this changes the City Commission. Tallahassee Commission will look a bit different with less of an African American presence, but perhaps more energy that a political expert says more people are looking for in politicians. I'm still in shock. It's, it's still sinking in a little bit, but I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very, very humbled and very grateful. At 27 years old, Jack Porter is one of the youngest women to be elected to Tallahassee City Commission. Uh, young people, particularly young women, are getting real engaged and they know how to work hard. After 11 months of campaigning, Porter beat incumbent Elaine Bryant by more than 5,000 votes. Well, I was um, disappointed. I, I saw a lot of missed opportunities for the city um, at the leadership level. And, and again, I just felt like what I was seeing on the ground level and my advocacy was that people wanted change. They wanted something different. They wanted responsive government. Porter's very seat stained by recent political scandal. Elaine Bryan was appointed to the position in December of 2018 after Scott Maddox pleaded guilty to federal charges, including racketeering and wire fraud. Political expert Ed Moore saying Porter's campaign promised to bring change appealed to all voters. The uh, winner in that race uh, it got support all the way across the political spectrum. I mean, there were uh, conservative people I knew supported her and uh, people in the middle of the road. Going into the race, Elaine Bryant said no matter the outcome, she would still work for the people of Tallahassee. Backing that up with this post on Twitter Tuesday, thanking her supporters. As Porter prepares for the seat switch in the coming months, she has this message. I am excited to get to work for you and to fight for you and, um, and to listen to you. And I plan to, just as I campaign, to be that available and accessible um, as a commissioner. Right now, Curtis Richardson is headed to a runoff for his seat to race against Bill Shack. He's looking for his third term. Reporting from City Hall, Jada Williams, ABC 27.